Hello everyone, PG or Team America here, and today I am going to talk to you guys about the comp that I have been using in order to reach 1,000 rating at number one above number two in Mercenaries, player versus player. So, this is the comp. We have Jaina, Dongress, Diablo, Karen, Ragnaros, Tavish. So... I'm gonna go through each character and talk about how you use them to some extent. So, Jaina, you're basically always using ice flows. Um, sometimes you squeeze in a water elemental. Icicle is incredibly fringe. Like sometimes um, a Lich King will make it so ice flows has like 15 speed and you have to use icicle before you'll die. But um, Typically, you're just using ice flows over and over again and gaining frost damage. Um, and sometimes you squeeze in a water elemental, but it's it's relatively rare. Um, and you you use ice block. Dawn grasp. You are using flurry most of the turns. Um, sometimes you can set up a cold snap, but with the meta right now, it's a lot of dawn grasp mirrors. So you're typically slow in. Um, like, it's rare to be able to get Cold Snap off first. Sometimes you can combine it with an Endurance Aura from Karen and get a nice Cold Snap. Um, and you should always, late in the game, you should always be thinking about when you squeeze in an Ice Lance, perhaps. Because being able to stop, like, their Diablo from Apocalypsing or um, stopping a Karen from Earth Stomping um it can it can change the game so and the item i use is death rattle deal eight damage all enemy minions and freeze an enemy minion through the next turn next we have diablo who is extremely versatile you're running black soul stone so after any character dies this includes like images of samaru tokens like um, the iron for grizzly Every time a character dies, Diablo gains 10 health. So the move that is most useful is Fire Stomp, probably, on Diablo. What you do is you, between Dawn Grasp and Cairn, you slow the other team. And then you're able to Fire Stomp for 24 damage to all minions. Sometimes more if they have tokens. And then 48 damage to all blue minions, which is insane. And then also there are combos where you can up, like you can apocalypse and then drop a meteor on something for 50 damage. So there are a lot of combos. And then also sometimes you can doom charge to slow something down. Like Diablo is a pretty slow character, but it's actually prob probably your most versatile and the reason why he's in so many comps. Um, Cairn, probably the most OP hero in the game right now. Um, you have Reincarnation, which revives Cairn at max to 40 health. Endurance Aura, which makes... It's 3 speed and it makes your other characters moves 4 faster this turn. And Earth Stomp, which makes the opponent's moves 3 slower the next turn. So what you do is you Earth Stomp, and then your Endurance Aura and Diablo typic a Diablo Fire Stomp is the combo that you try to get off the most. Um, and then sometimes, like, you can Ancestral Uppercut sometimes, but you're mostly using Endurance Aura or Earth Stomp. And then Ragnaros, you are... Usually you bring him in off the bench and use Meteor... And then, but, but it has a long cooldown. So between um, Die Insect and Magma Blast, you, you just gotta make decisions on what you do. It, it's pretty situational on which you use. Um, like typically, if I'm not, if I can't set something up to kill, I'll just use Die Insect. Because like, um, because Magma Blast on... A green character is 20 damage, whereas Die Insect on any character is 22 damage. So sometimes 
you'll die insect the green character and deal 44 damage, so... If you know it's gonna go off, I'll try to squeeze in a die insect, but sometimes they'll target, so... It's pretty situational, but... Uh, a lot of the times you'll bring in Ragnaros off the bench and want a meteor or something to kill it right away. And the item we use is Sulfurus, which is passive plus 20 health, and your characters cannot be frozen. So, a note on this, if you have a character frozen on the board, and you bring in Ragnaros, you can unfreeze it. But it has to be placed on the left side, or it will not unfreeze the minion. I know that's stupid. It's, it's a bug, I'm sure, but that is how it works, and I'm warning you guys now. So, and then that brings us to Tavish. So, Tavish, we're running a rigged wiring, which is plus 10 health, and your traps last until they're triggered. So, with Tavish, most, you're using explosive trap on cooldown constantly, and then... Bear Trap is solid, but you don't want it to be able to feed an opposing Diablo's health. So you want to be a little bit careful with it. But once their Diablo is dead, you just swap between these typically. But also, Aim Shot, if... So like, they don't necessarily always want to hit Tavish because it's got Explosive Trap. But if they're not hitting it, you can do 40 damage to blue characters with Aim Shot, so... He is super strong against blue characters, um, and that's, that's why he's in the comp. So a little information on how to play it. How I start is almost always Jaina, Varden, Tavish with Dawngrasp in the middle. And then when it comes to bringing off the bench, like, I've literally... Typically, Diablo's probably the one you bring off the bench the least. You... What you want to do is bring in Cairn, and then have another character die. And then you bring in Diablo. So, like, you bring in Cairn, you Earth Stomp, someone else dies that turn, and then you bring in Diablo, and you get to do the combo. But, um, it's, uh, it can be tricky, for sure, um, knowing what to bring in. But I would say, typically, the first thing you bring in is Cairn. But, like, it just, every game is different. And the matchups are all different. I will say, if you know you're going up against Beast Comp, I typically will start with Cairn, Ragnaros, Dongrasp, with Dongrasp in the middle. But that's only if you know you're going up against Rexar, King Crush, and Mukla. Um, and which you would know by playing the same person over and over again. So, but, um, or anything else i i think that's it for the comp um let me know what you guys think of this video and i make sure you like subscribe and comment with your opinions and if you've been enjoying this comp i will say substituting stuff um is pretty tough i would say ragnaros is the easiest thing to substitute and like, you could just even just, you could just put in Blink Fox for it if you don't have Ragnaros, but everything else is relatively essential to the comp, so. But yeah, like, subscribe, comment, and check me out every day, twitch.tv slash Team America. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.